ideally so ideally in the sense irrigation design and drawing so in this uh, course our particular lab will go for four from part a part b two section of there so from part a we get four exercises i mean four hydraulic structures and from part b also in previously it was only two experiment but now recently these two added so from part to what is the question we get from part a so we get uh, how to design and draw and from part b it is only design so design means giving the parameters and in particulars so okay. suppose okay. supply sphere so supply sphere so what should be the length what should be the height of the wheel and what should be the length of the wheel and what the crest width of the wheel and what what should be the base width of the wheel the parameters you will have to design that is provide the parameters particulars so that is what should be the length and width base crest width everything depends on the maximum flood that is flood maximum flood or discharge that is maximum q that that is based on will find out by lewis formula or Decay's formula or English formula. Those are rational method. I mean, uh, rational formulas that is uh, that can be given by directly. Suppose they will provide, uh, they will give some catch material. Are based on only catch material, we can go for what is Q? That is Q is equal to C A over two by three or uh, three by four. The number of formulas are available. Based on that, we find Q. By the Q, you can find out what is small Q. That is capital Q by L. So we don't know L. So this can be related. With Capital Q, that is discharge intensity. After that, we go for length and breadth. Everything is a formula. Okay? Then what is the siphon mirror? So siphon mirror is a drop. So it will provide it when the road, which is normally laid road and canal, where the means so without disturbing the road, we go for siphon mirror. That is, we will provide a pipeline that is direct from upstream to downstream. Our two side wells, that is upstream side well we will construct and downstream side well we will construct. So that the two wells are connected with the pipeline, that is pipe or barrel. So water, whatever the water flow from upstream side that is drawn, that is due to gravity it will flow, and then by up downstream side it will flow against the gravity. That is siphonic action created in here uh, that plays the major role. So what is the canal draw? That is not type. So suppose If it is some slopey area, so water will flow from upstream to downstream side. So it will suppose here cross section A, cross section two, take two cross sections. So at A the having a low velocity, so it won't affect any at here. So by increasing the height, it is so velocity will increase. You know the V is directly proportional to H. We know that. So here huge velocity, it will erode the soil. So the further soil will. Erode are transported at somewhere and deposit. So that means a problem. So to erect that problem, we'll go for canal draw. So canal draw can be so we'll provide step by step notches. So energy or what you call velocity will be lower down and it will after reaching the ground it will flow simply. So there the place measure what that is canal draw. Then tanks means with tower head. It is also similar siphon well draw. But suppose so upstream side will store the water and see it is connected with masonry or RCC slab. Here we will provide a tap, what you call a well. Well will concern and whatever the water flows here will create a opening so that if needed here this what you call this is barrel or RCC. So constructing RCC slab will this is like pipeline only. So if needed water is needed at downstream side. Will open it. So here one, one mechanism is provided. That is screw, screw, gearing arrangement is provided. By rotating it, it will lift up so that it will make some arrangements in such a way that by lifting up, will, water will flow directly downstream side if needed. If not, then it will be closed always. So this is this is made up of wood, and right? that is made up of wood. Okay. And this is how we have to design. So each and every particulars we have to design and we have to draw in QCAD. Okay, software called QCAD. So design and drawing we have to in examination point of view it is same. So from from four, I mean out of four one can be given, and from 
same from part B also. So from out of four, you will give only one question from each part A and part B both. But whatever the question you got from part A, that has to be design and draw. Okay. Uh, whatever the part from B, you question you will get from part B. Those has to I mean that question has to only we provide design. That is what should be the length of this floating glacier sphere? Can I make it as another term? Acute type three. This is type one. Type two, type three. There are three types. Actually, acute depth. So type one indicates if canal is above the drainage. That is type one. Canal is below the. I mean, drainage is above the canal. So reverse. That is type two. So it is type three. Type three. Three is nothing but drainage line means the canal line. Both are at same level. Then that is acute depth type three. Type three. So we we'll go each and every. in the next lectures